Hello there, Virgo. Thank you so much for watching my channel. My name is Ashley and my YouTube channel is the letter N, the number two space W-I-T-C-H-I-N and that is intuition. I am currently doing an October prediction for the, for the sign, I was gonna say for the month of Virgo. For the sign of Virgo, um, y'all could have some important transits going on in your sign this month. I'm not an astrologist, astrologer, none of that. But something going on with Virgo this month, um, astrologically, will be affecting you. And so you could be like, "Oh, it's Mercury retrograde. We got six other. We got six planets in retrograde. That's that's cool. <laughs> but there's something else outside of the normal, you know, shit that's happening astrologically that's affecting you as well." I don't know about birth charts, navel charts, none of that. Maybe I want to, you know, look over those. If that's your thing. If, if not, then whatever. I'm going to tell you what you need to know with tarot. Ancestor, spirit, guides, divine, holy spirit, and universe, please assist me in giving Virgo clear and accurate messages for October 2021. Please make the messages loud, clear, and accurate. I'm so tired of y'all being tired, Virgo. When the fuck ain't y'all tired? Did you ever sign up for counseling, therapy? Some of y'all could have been to marital counseling, relationship counseling, something, some kind of some kind of counseling with a partner. Um, and if not, it's needed. But honestly, even if you go, I just don't think you guys are in the right relationship. So if you are happily married, this is not for you. This part is not for you. The rest of the reading will be. If you are with a partner that you know ain't shit, if you are dating someone that you know does not compliment you or you do not compliment, it doesn't have to be that this person is bad. They're just not for you. You guys, a lot of you guys are not with your ideal partner. Um, I was telling someone recently that Virgos tend to, to settle. And it's not, I'm not trying to offend y'all, but y'all love people so strongly and so wholeheartedly um, usually that it's like, okay, I'll stay here because I love you. I'll deal with this because I love you. you no, know, I'll give you another chance because I love you. I don't want to, y'all don't like to be seeing people crying shit or, or being hurt or whatever, um, especially on account of you. So you guys could have previously or are currently dealing with something or someone or some love situation where it's pretty, you're settling. <laughs> I can't even say, I was going to try to like soften it up some, but no, it's literally you're fucking settling. Okay, now for everybody else, uh, October and your month of relationships, done. Relationships are going to be at the forefront of, um, if you are currently happily married or engaged or, you know, just happily in a relationship, I do see you stepping out of the box for your partner or like just really stepping out of your comfort zone for your partner this, this month. And they will be very happy about that. Yeah. Like doing something you, you got. And that's another thing. All Virgos usually are people pleasers. Um, and it's not like ass kissing. It's just y'all are genuine people that want to keep everybody happy, especially your partners. You guys love, love Virgos love to be needed. Love to be wanted. Love to be desired. Love to be in relationships, marriages, whatever. And so sometimes it's like, oh, okay, I'll settle here. Yeah. Even though you only 40% of what the fuck I really want, I'll, I'll deal with you. Knowing. And the crazy thing is, y'all piss up y'all ideal partners. Like, what, cause like, oh, I can't talk to y'all in a relationship. I'm going to be here forever. Even with no ring. Even with no real commitment. Even with no real structure. The thing is, Virgo, it's so possible for you to have the family and the love and the life that you want. So even if this doesn't involve like you want children or more children, but you want your ideal partner, um, I would still consider that family. Um, it's it's so it's so fucking it's accessible for you. So if you don't settle, you'll end up happily in love with the person that you belong with. And if you have already found your partner and you're happily in love, married, whatever, congratulations. 
because I do see that success in love is possible. And I'm not, I don't like reading about love, honestly. So I don't know why the fuck we're here. <laughs> Man, y'all are trapping y'all on my overthinking shit, overthinking the overthinking, and y'all overthinking the overthinking, overthinking. Now y'all crying. Now y'all confused. I'm just gonna go to sleep and I'll think about this shit tomorrow. Like, I'm just gonna go to work and I, that's really what it is. I, I just go to work. What? I'm like, oh, I'm finna figure this shit out right now because I cannot stay in this energy. I'm not, I can't settle. I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't care who it is, what it is, why it is. I, settling is not for me because I know what kind of life I deserve. I know who I am. I know my potential. And so when you're very sure of yourself and very self-aware and you know where you're going and where you're headed, you'll be done settling. Y'all gonna have throat problems in the month of October. A lot of y'all will be hoarse and or losing your voice. <sighs> I'm about to take some um, raw unfiltered grade A honey every morning, like do some kind of preventatives. That's too many. Why aren't y'all creating the life that y'all wanna live? Why aren't y'all creating the life that y'all know y'all deserve? Study taking care of other people. Study putting other people before yourself. Like you guys have so much wisdom, so much knowledge, so much potential that is is like if you can only see it for yourself, you wouldn't be doing the shit you're doing or settling for the shit you're selling. If you don't move the fuck out of my way so I can keep going in life, if you don't get the fuck from around me, like it ain't no stop dealing with shit you don't want to deal with, please. People, this can be friendships. It doesn't have to just be a partner, but for a lot of y'all it is. But for anything that you know that, that does not serve you, if someone is constantly draining you and not pouring into you, that is a problem. Something concerning y'all children will come up in, um, if you're a parent, will come up in the month of October as well. If, you, if your throat start, then your child's throat might start if y'all live in the same house. Um, I don't know what's going to start with the throat. I don't know if it's just like a sore throat or, like I said, losing your voice or whatever. Um, you just want to make sure you're, even against COVID and stuff, you want to make sure you're protecting yourself so that you're protecting your children if you guys live together or whatever. Um, and you just really, really, your children are watching you if you're a parent. And if you're not yet a parent and you plan on being one, your children will be watching you. You have to move and act accordingly. When you decide it or decide to become a parent when you're and your child is born, or even you know from the moment of conception, they are now a part of you. They are energetically here. And so you want to make sure your energy and your vibes are always good so that your children can always be good. Some of y'all relationships with y'all children, just like done. Mm-mm. And that's very, very specific. That's not for, I know that's not for everybody. But somebody literally wiped their hands. And I don't feel bad about it. At fucking all. Look at that. Completely. Unlike, I'm not, I don't feel bad. I don't feel bad at all. It's so crazy though. Oh. I don't even want to say this out loud. Y'all, whoever, whatever child that was cut off was lying and sneaking. Right? And this was a lying, sneaking child. This is an older child. It's, of course, not a two-year-old. Um, and you're like, I can't, I can't have that. I can't, you, you, you can't do that to me. It's not acceptable. I don't want to fuck with you no more. Y'all could even have spoken to your child like they were someone off the street. Like a complete stranger. Because you felt very betrayed. And if this isn't how you did your child, like your parent could have did you, but I really feel like it's you and your child. But not only that, I wanted to say, how y'all telling y'all child, oh, I'm not fucking with you because you wronged me, but then your partner can wrong you 8 million times and you allow it. Like you have to really treat... Take shit for what it is, okay? Why is it that my child can't do me wrong, but I'm allowing my partner to do me wrong? Why is it that my child can't lie to me? Even if it's not a child you cut off, if your child lied to you or steal from you or, or anything, 
That's a problem, right? Now you ready to whoop their ass. Now you ready to do this. Now you ready to do that. But when your partner do it, oh, well, you know, we can work on it. And yeah, we can still, you can still have my body. We can still be intimate. We can. But your child is like, you better not ever. I will never accept that from you. But for a partner, whether you're a man or a woman, it's like, oh, well, I'm going to let you keep lying to me. I'm going to let you, you know, keep fucking me over. I'm going to let you keep stealing, cheating, whatever. That shit bothers me so much. Because I, I, can't, I can't understand it. And maybe that's because children look at their, they, they hold, I'm sorry, parents hold their children to like a higher standard than they do their partner or something. I mean, I'm probably never going to understand it because I wouldn't do it. But um, maybe that's what it is. It's just it, it blows my mind to see that someone can say fuck you to their child, but to their partner. OK, we can make up, but you'll leave your child out in the cold. I have one last card for Virgo, please. I hope I ain't made y'all upset tonight, but. Yep. Apologize. Apologize to your child. Even if they've wronged you, the way you behaved or the way you responded wasn't right. So it's not a just because I'm the parent and I can talk to you like this or I can do this and you, but you, you have to continue to worship me like a fucking God. It don't work like that. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. I will see you guys again soon. Where is my clicker? Bye. Oh, I thought it failed. Bye.